Before you begin, please read the first page of the lab. Okay, let's say that you receive a text file from a vendor every day which could contain the addresses and phone numbers of up to 10,000 potential customers. The file sent to you is in the format that you see at the top of the screen. But you need the file formatted as what you see at the bottom of the screen. You could manually copy and paste the information to properly format the file, but it would take a tremendous amount of time and effort to do this, and remember, you would need to do this daily. It will also take a huge amount of time and effort to create a set of functions to accomplish this task, but once you have set up the process, you have saved yourself from pain, suffering, and boredom each day, not to mention the time that it's going to save you. In this part of the lab, we're going to use text functions to manipulate this information so that it displays in the desired format. How can we do this? We do it by trial and error. Now is the time for you to think outside of the box. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just want to get the end result in the quickest amount of time as possible. Now I know there is a function or a feature named text to columns in Excel. This function or feature, I should say, will separate the information into separate cells, uh, which is what we want. But in order to use the feature, each word or each text item has to be separated using some kind of delimiter or separator. In this case, we're going to use the comma as the delimiter. As you're working through this, you should write down these steps. So number one, you remember the steps if it needs to be done daily. And number two, if something happens to you, uh, someone else can do these steps. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is open up Excel and I want you to create a file called Prospective Customers. Then I want you to uh, create a worksheet named Work Area, another worksheet named Prospective Customers, In the work area worksheet, we will use that to manipulate our data. And after we have manipulated all the data and we have the final format, we will put that into the prospective customers worksheet. So click on the work area worksheet. The first thing we need to do is import the file. Notice I'm selected cell A1. I'm going to click on data, the data tab. I'm going to click on get external data. We can import information from various sources. In this case, we are importing it from a text file. I will go to the location where the text file resides. I'm going to import the customers1.txt file. Keep the default. You're putting it in A1, and there's our information. Now, I want to get this information all on one line, so I can use the concatenate function. I can take all the information for each address and concatenate it into one cell in column B. However, if you notice, in cell A2, it looks like uh, there is an indention. It looks, do you see the indention and then you see the one? In actuality, there is a space there. And we can't use a space where we can't put a space between our words. It has to be comma delimited. So if we put a space there, the text to columns function is not going to work correctly. So what I need to do is use the trim function in addition to the concatenate function. And remember, the trim function trims off any extraneous spaces. So we're going to concatenate this all in one cell. I'm going to trim it as I concatenate it. Now remember, we need these separated by commas. So I'm going to put a comma in there. Then I'm going to concatenate cell A2, add a comma. 
going to concatenate cell A3, add a comma, and concatenate cell A4. Okay, I had an error there, and it must have been an easy one because Excel found the answer. There was a syntax error in there. Excel found the answer and just fixed it for me. Now I just move these in a little bit so we can look at this. So I'm going to go to B here and make B out that long, and I'm going to copy it down. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay, now you notice that we have everything, uh, all of the address in one cell. The problem is you see the, uh, a good address in B1, but you don't see another good address till you get down to B5. So we know every fifth row will have a correct address in it. So we need to do a little more to get this ready to do the text to columns feature because we don't want to do text to columns for every cell here because it's not uh, correct information. Now, if I look at the very end of each cell, I see a phone number. If I look down at this next one that's good, I also see a phone number. And if you would go all the way down the line, you would see that. Now, I am making an assumption here that every valid record will have a phone number at the end of it. That assumption may or may not be right, but looking at the pattern, it looks correct. If that wasn't right, then you'd have to go back and think outside of the box again. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to isolate the phone number, the last digits of the phone number, because what I'm going to do is um, get to the point where if it's, if it's a valid address, then I will have um, some kind of indicator to tell me that. And again, I worked with this for quite a while to get this to work. Uh, so I'm just stepping through these based on my problem solving uh, and again, it took me a little while. All right, so I'm going to use the right function here. I'm going to copy it down. And every cell that is valid will have the last four digits of the phone number and a hyphen that precedes it. Now I'm going to use the find function to find the hyphen. And now, any cell that has a hyphen in the first position will display the number one. Any other cell will display an error message. Now there's something that we can do with this uh, to isolate the good addresses.